evening, my name is Hélène jamar pinier I'm a PhD in History, Medieval History and History of Food at the University of Tours in France. And I'm a member of a program called uh, COREMA, that means Corpus of Recipes of Middle Ages. And I'm a fellow of the American Party Federation, uh, which I want to thank for this new great initiative. During my PhD, I have been working on uh, the Jewish culinary heritage through different sources. Um, one of them is the first cookbook of the Iberian Peninsula, and more specifically from Spain. When Jews and Muslims lived um, by fair means or force in the same territory. Muslims, these Muslims were not Arabs Muslims, but um, Berber Muslims. That means that they had their roots. Uh, principally in Morocco. What is important to say is that this cookbook is the first and unique one to contain explicitly Jewish recipes. However, my researches reveal the existence of hidden Jewish recipes, and this is one of them that I have chosen to prepare for you today. Mufleta. This is the oldest recipe known for this dish, prepared by Moroccan Jews for Mimuna to celebrate the end of Passover. Thus, to prepare the dish, we won't need a lot of ingredients, just flour, salt, semolina, yeast, fresh yeast, oil, and honey. To prepare is easy. You just have to put in a pot uh, the flour, the semolina, the fresh yeast, the salt, and the warm water and you have to knead during 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you have this stuff and you have to take um, a part like that um, and make some balls. Then you have to put them in oil like that and put it in the sheet here. When you have done 8 or 10 balls, uh, just set aside and cover for 10 minutes. After 15 minutes, just take a bowl, uh, put it in, a, in the oil, and you can flatten out to form a very thin dot disc. You have to do this carefully because the dirt is very, very thin. You can add oil if you want, turn it, okay, just now you have to do that with all the balls. When the pan is hot, uh, you can put some oil like that and you can take the first disc. It will cook very, very quickly. Then you have to turn it and you put another disc of dough. just over the first one, just like that. Then, just, you can move a little, and then you take the two discs and turn it. You can put just a little oil like that all over. In this recipe you can uh, find a variant um, and you can use some slices of apples. I decided for you um, today to, put, to use this variant with the um, apple slices. It's very easy. You can take two apples and uh, cut them into slices and put them two minutes in the microwave. In the microwave. And when it's pretty cold, you can add them on the layers.
Then you had the lupet the first, the third disc. And you turn this together. You can cut hard if you want. Like this. And you add the other one. Just hold the ribbon. And then you take the all and then you have to continue um, uh, until you finish all the dot. I'm of this one. Other slices to finish. It's pretty flat. That's great. The mustard is finished. So I'm going to put it in a plate and to pour some honey. And you can add um, butter if you want. Okay, so when it's finished, put the butter in your plate. You can add um, butter. And then honey. And that's finished. I hope that you liked this recipe and see you soon. Bye bye.